It really mm -hmm. is, because yeah. it's, a, it's really a pain. Mm -hmm. Now, for our folks out there who may not have ever heard of you or know you, what format do you collect on, and what kind of things do you collect for your own personal taste? Beta is better. <laughs> uh, we refer folks to the VHS uh, people. Now, you VHS folks are, you know, yeah, we, we'll excuse you, but it's just that, <laughs> you know... like a two prejudice. No, it's, it's probably it's, more of them than there yeah, are I of know, us. I know, I you know. know. We refer to it as the other format. Right. And I got friends at RCA, and I even have a token VHS machine for people who, who trade in that format uh -huh. and want things in VHS. But technically, technically, format-wise, I think the beta format is better. For what uh, reasons? For what reasons? Well, there's less tension on the tape, for one, believe uh -huh. it or not. It was, uh, I mean, the beta format um, is really a three-quarter inch, which is the standard of the broadcasting industry, right. uh, slightly miniaturized. Uh -huh. So if it's good enough for all the television stations across the country, it's good enough for me. Uh -huh. What kind of stuff do you collect mainly? Uh, I collect uh, just a very, very wide variety of things. Uh, uh -huh. uh, I'll, I'll even uh, take things off television uh, a lot yeah. more than most video files will. A lot of movies and things. I took just the the other day, in fact, Homeward uh -huh. Bound, a real uh -huh. grabber with David Soul and Moosey Dryer, uh -huh. um, you know, and I got a lot of grabber, kind of, kind of amber waves, things like that. movies that were really grippers off t television. The only thing that ticks me off about that, and that's why you folks out there watching that are into home video, you really got to have a machine these days with audio overdub, because there's nothing more frustrating than taping something really sensitive about a kid that's got cancer or somebody that's mm -hmm. dying or something really a, a, a throbber like the champ kind mm -hmm. of a movie. And then when they run the credits at the end, they fade the music, which is usually very nice music. They fade the music down, and you hear something like, David Hartman's guest tomorrow on Good Morning America. That's called a cross plug, Yes, right. well, then yeah. they do it on every program, yes, and it they just do. destroys the, the whole mo you know, atmosphere created yeah, by the... it really does. So here's a chance for you with audio overdub and a tape deck or a cassette deck or a record turntable or whatever to dub in your own music, appropriate music, of course, and Homeward yeah. Bound, naturally. Right. I put Homeward Bound of by course. Simon and Garfunkel right. Right. over the end. Uh -huh. And you can sometimes make the ending even more hard Craftsy and even neater than the original show was. If you, yeah, if, if, if you, you have that kind of it. talent. Sure. Exactly. Well, yeah. almost anybody can do it. Now, what <laughs> machines do you have right now? Okay, I got my original 7200, the first Betamax that ever came out yep, by Sony. Right. I have the SL 5600, which is the 14-day programmable Sony Betamax. Uh -huh. You think I'm talking slow enough? And then on the next, I also I just got rid of industrial ones, so I'm going to get in 320. Which 320 I'm going right. to get a 340, which is the Sony uh, industrial fast speed portable. I also have the SL 3000, which is these uh, plays the fast speed but only records a slow speed right. um, uh, port a pack mm -hmm. uh, which I've used tremendously it's out in the uh -huh. car right now I take it with me everywhere I go mm -hmm. and then uh, last but not least I have an RCA programmable select division which is the VHS, the VHS right now you do a lot more portable work than most people I know yeah I do and you you carry you've taken shots out of an airplane window yeah, or take landing. off a landing yeah, right? yeah take yeah. a the whole way. I don't take. A, I used to go around everywhere with Instamatic camera, you know, t -t 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 this, t -t -t -t, you know, and now I don't. I, I uh -huh. everything on videotape. It's really yeah. crazy. People it's say really to me, "My fun. God, he goes everywhere with that camera." That's right. But but it's but it's a lot of That's fun. Right. It's a little more work. Nobody likes to be on, but everybody wants to watch. That's you know? right. Nobody That's exactly wants to help right. prepare the food. Everybody wants to eat it. You know, mm -hmm. it's the same old yeah. story. One last question. We have to kind of wrap this up. Where do you think the future? Quickly, of because we are running late. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Where do you think the future of home video is headed? Looking at everything that's happening right now with pre-recorded tapes and machines, video discs, satellite stations, where do you think it's going to go? Mm, that's a darn hard question I to think answer. Up is the only it, yeah, answer, really. it, more and more people are buying them. The, the I just read a report where sales are way ahead of what they projected. They expect shortages on tapes and equipment. Um, Sony is running way behind on equipment. I hear there's even a shortage of the 26-inch Trinitron TVs. Uh -huh. Between now and January 1st, you're going to find a lot of this equipment very, very hard to get. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw, uh, well, for example, with this big football game, with this terrific rivalry we had this weekend, yeah. you went to a store looking for L750s. Well, everyone was out buying L750s because you need a three-hour tape to be able That's to record right. a football That's game. Right. Uh -huh. And even with cutting the commercials out, it'll go a full three hours. So yeah. I'm telling you, it's like the old days when Gone with the Wind was first shown on TV and there were just a few Betamaxes in the market and they wiped out the shelves of every video store or every video supplier in the country mm -hmm. and people were very frustrated. They dropped $1,300 on a machine they couldn't buy any tape for it to record right. Gone with the Wind. Uh -huh. So we're going to we're gonna see a lot more of that. Big blockbusters will come on TV and boom, tape supplies will be gone in a yeah. flash. Yeah. So it's going to be big. Really well. Well, one more thing before I forget. Um, a lot of our viewers out there probably uh, have been touched one time or another by the bootleg market, the black market, <laughs> the pirate market, whatever. Uh, you want to buy a copy of Star Wars or Empire Strikes Back, 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. You did have a short and uh, close encounter with the FBI one time, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, the FBI came to my day, called me up and said, hi, this is the FBI, we want to see you. And I said, sure it is. And they went to hang up the telephone. I thought they were kidding. Yeah, I thought, yeah. oh, one of my s smart friends, you know, calling up to say, uh, you know, something great like, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's fool him this morning, you know. Uh -huh. And I was just on a talk show the previous night on a local, well, on a mm -hmm. Flint, Michigan radio station and telling people not to do 
dumb things like the deal in piracy or bootlegging and yeah. what have you. And here, this guy called me the very next morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. I was only half awake. So yeah. he came out and talked to me. Well, after he saw that I read for video file, I tell people not to do dumb things like this. He realized then you call. that, hey, you yeah. know, this is not the guy he should be going after. He should be going after the guy that's churning out uh, film chain copies of Empire Strikes Back or something yeah. out of his basement. Those are the people that they really want to get. So what you're saying is the average little video file with one or two machines and about 100 tapes who, yeah, who might right. have one or two bootlegs and doesn't trade really has nothing to worry no, about. not really. First uh -huh. of all, the bootlegging is really getting down, in my opinion, because of the fact that you can buy so many things right. legally. They're That's all right. coming out. Everything's uh -huh. out. Uh, Blues Brothers is out already. Alien, uh, Super Alien, Alien Star Trek. Super Trek. Sure. Every, every, everything you could possibly want. That's right. So there's hardly any reason even to do it because uh, a lot of the movie companies now, 90 days after they're in the theater, they're going to release them on tape. Yeah, exactly. So why yeah. bother? Plus That's the right. quality is so terrible on those uh, pirated copies. You're better off to get the, uh, the good, clean copies Might as well legally. Wait. Yeah. Might as well wait. Exactly. Really. Okay, anything else you want to say to our friends out there in Orlando, Florida? Enjoy talking to you. I'm sure that it's a heck of a lot warmer where you're watching me right That's now for sure. than where it is up here in, <laughs> in the frozen north. But uh, will they be seeing this before Christmas time? Uh, Who any, knows? Any, any, anybody's well, guess. We well, don't if you're know seeing yet. this before the holidays, happy holidays. If you're seeing this in the beginning of 1981, I hope the year is everything that you hoped for, right. and I'm glad to have right. a chance to talk to you all. Okay, thanks, thanks, a, you, Ray, thanks a lot. Much. Nice talking Take to you. Take care. Bye-bye.